We received a question from Gemma Vericali of Toronto, Ontario, who asks, how and why do oysters make pearls? Oysters make pearls in order to defend themselves, the same way our immune system defends us from infection and disease. Sometimes when an oyster is feeding with its shell slightly opened, a foreign particle like a grain of sand, a bit of shell, or a tiny parasite will embed itself into the soft body of the oyster called the mantle. It's like getting a pebble stuck in your shoe. But unlike us, an oyster is incapable of pulling the particle out. Instead, it eases the irritation in a rather ingenious way. A special substance called nacre is constantly secreted by the oyster. Over a period of years, the oyster builds successive layers of the substance, enclosing the particle, forming a pearl. When a pearl is cut in two and examined under a microscope, it looks like this onion, with the concentric layer surrounding the particle. Hardened secretions on a string, anyone? Jane Saunders of Markham wants to know why salt is sprinkled on the roads in the winter. Well, it's because salt has the ability to melt ice. Well, how does it do that? Well, salt can actually lower the freezing point of water. What does that mean? Well, allow me to explain. Ice forms at zero degrees Celsius. That's when the water molecules slow down and begin to lock together to form ice crystals. But when you add salt, the salt breaks down into its component parts, sodium and chloride. Now, they have electrical charges. So what happens is the sodium and chloride act like little magnets and attract the water molecules, preventing them from forming ice crystals. But this only works to about minus 21 degrees Celsius. At that temperature, the water molecules are so tightly joined together, the salt can't pull them apart.